Today we'll be diving into the latest release from Inkscape, which is version 1.4.2, which was just released earlier today. While this update primarily focuses on bug fixes and performance improvements, there are a few standout features that I think you'll find exciting. Let's take a look. First up, you'll notice a brand new splash screen when launching Inkscape. This is the initial artwork that is displayed when the application is loading in the background. If you prefer not to see it, you can disable it by going to the Inkscape Preferences menu, selecting Interface, Windows, and where it says Show When Starting, select nothing from the drop-down menu. Inkscape 1.4.2 introduces initial support for importing Vectornator and Linearity Curve files. This expands the range of compatible formats, making it easier to integrate designs from different platforms into your Inkscape projects. It should be noted, though, that this extension is still under active development, so be sure to report all issues you encounter to the repository of the subproject. The latest addition to Inkscape in this update would be a new extension called Cleanup Paths, which you can access by navigating to Extensions, Modify Path, and selecting Cleanup Paths. This tool helps tidy up your vector designs by removing unnecessary nodes and simplifying paths, which can be especially useful for optimizing your artwork. I played around with the extension for a little while, but I couldn't quite understand it entirely, so hopefully we'll see some more documentation for this in the future. For those of you who work with Affinity Designer, you'll be pleased to know that the import functionality for AF design files has been improved substantially. This feature was initially introduced last October in the 1.4 release, but there were certain types of design elements that got lost in translation. While it's still a work in progress, this update is certainly an improvement and makes it easier to bring your Affinity projects into Inkscape for further editing. One of the minor updates that I was happy to see is the return of path effect settings for the perspective envelope path effect. For whatever reason, those settings disappeared in the previous update, and you weren't able to apply features like mirroring and toggling between perspective and envelope. This made the path effect almost useless in my opinion, but thankfully they've been restored and the tool is once again operational. Also worth noting is the spray tool, which had its button functionality restored, and with the ellipse tool, circles no longer move to an unpredictable position when using undo. Lastly, the Inkscape team has taken steps to optimize the software for smaller screens. Toolbars now have more collapsible groups, allowing Inkscape to fit comfortably on a 720p display without sacrificing functionality. Unfortunately, the dockable menus on the side of the screen still take up a lot of space, which I know is a common complaint for those of you with lower resolution screens, so hopefully that is something that will be addressed in the future. And that should do it for today's video. Although this latest version is primarily a maintenance and bug fix update, these changes make for a more stable and smoother design experience. If you haven't already, head over to Inkscape.org to download the latest version and explore these improvements for yourself. I'll include a link to the full release notes in the description of the video if you want to check it out for yourself. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.